Well, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I hope to start uploading again with some regularity. On March 5th, Jordan Peterson spoke at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. Protesters got inside and briefly interrupted the event. It's a fucking lie! What they... That's pure narcissism at work, by the way. Outside, protesters yelled at those attempting to go in, shouting, no freedom for hate speech, and attending is complicity. Not only do the protesters not want Jordan Peterson to speak, but blame is also placed on those who attempt to listen. Protesters also yelled, F Jordan Peterson, and F white complicity while banging on doors and stained glass windows. At least one of those windows on the building ends up being broken. Besides yelling at those who are trying to enter, the protesters also blocked the exits in an attempt to have people who attended walk through a crowd. There were chants of, lock them in and burn it down along with another round of F white supremacy. The hitting of the stained glass windows and doors continued as the crowd attempted to create a lot of noise and disrupt the talk that was going on inside. A 38-year-old woman named Allison York allegedly broke one of the windows and police were called. She was arrested and police found a garrote in her backpack, a weapon used for strangling. According to Kingston police, when the officers identified themselves, the woman started to yell and resisted arrest by trying to pull away. Once handcuffed, the woman became violent and started kicking one officer. Additional officers responded to take the woman to police headquarters, but on the way there, she tried to kick out the cruiser's window. Once at police headquarters, the woman refused to walk on her own and continued to be uncooperative. Police said she bit one of the officers and had to be physically carried into her cell as she continued to be violent. An organizer of the protest sent an email email to the local paper calling the arrest hypocritical and said that race played a role as the woman was aboriginal. Quoting her email, she said, let us keep in mind that they broke a window of a huge, profoundly wealthy university that is situated on unceded land. She said in the process of breaking that window, they were injured. They did not use a weapon to break it, only their fist, which was cut and bloody. Injured and scared, knowing how hard the law comes down on indigenous people when it comes to protecting the property of settlers, they ran. Now, what's not clear from this, however, is whether or not others were involved, as the term they was used, or whether they refers to Alison York's preferred pronoun. In either case, the message seems clear. As she is a member of a certain group, Alison York should not have been arrested. Alison York should be able to damage property, carry concealed weapons, kick the windows on police cruisers, and bite officers while resisting arrest. Alison York is a victim. If you want to protest, fine. If you damage property, however, why can't you just live with the arrest, make reparations for the damage, and move forward? Even that incredibly small amount of personal responsibility seems completely outside of the realm of understanding. The focus should not be on how Alison York is a victim, nor should it be on protesters who think their shouted rants are more important than the speaker for an event. That's narcissistic. 
Watch the videos showing demonstrators and protesters and try to find their reasoning and rationale. It's clear that they don't want Jordan Peterson to speak, but trying to find anyone who accurately states his position then provides coherent reasons for disagreeing with it is difficult. Most often, his position is completely misrepresented. This can only be the result of the need to lie in order to attempt to make a weak argument seem better, or the complete lack of ability to listen and understand what Jordan Peterson is saying in the first place. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a comment and hit that like button. If you didn't like it, please explain why. Open discussion is the only way to have a better understanding of differing views. Sharing this video on social media can help keep conversations alive. Now here are a few other videos that you may be interested in.